The Superior Hiking Trail crosses 310 miles of both public and private lands. The partnership with landowners has made this trail a jewel of the North Shore. Though it seldom happens, existing trail routes through private property can be denied access at any time. In 2015, the trail section from Gooseberry State Park to Blueberry Hill Road was closed to hikers and had to be detoured along Highway 61. The private land was lost um, due to user error and there was a conflict with the landowner. Um, the Superior Hiking Trail had only a temporary easement on that, that section of trail and we, we lost that easement. And it was one of these heavy weights on the association of a big problem with the trail that had to be taken care of. And when I saw in the guidebook a little box over the map of this part of the Spear Hiking Trail, a little arrow down that said reopening in 2018, I got a little spooked because I thought we don't even know where this trail is going to go yet, let alone uh, <laughs> find that and build it in a year. The priority then became to plan and build a new trail. Access is a really complicated issue for the Superior Hiking Trail Association. Um, you know, we have to work with over 200 land owners and managers across the entire trail to create the alignment that people enjoy and experience today. And so when we lose a parcel and access, oftentimes reroutes are not um, available or apparent to us. And we have to do a lot of study and investigation into what is available. Probably about 25% of the uh, proposed route went through wetlands, which uh, would have required a wetland fill permit, uh, would have had a whole lot of lumber needed to build it up out of the wetlands, and it just really wasn't a feasible route for the trail uh, to meet the wetland requirements. Uh, and one day, Joe Swanson, my colleague, had up on her screen a new route and it was miraculous <laughs> because, wow, there it is. It took a long time to find, but the key ingredients were two snowmobile bridges, which meant that if we were able to route the trail over these snowmobile bridges, that saved a lot of hassle to try and have to build bridges because those are always sort of controversial and complicated. Um, and it was all on public land. That was critical. There is so much that goes on behind the scenes in making a project uh, of this size and caliber move forward um, for the organization. Um, with the DNR, we had to work with their um, Division of Forestry and um, get the reroute okayed with them. Similarly, we had to go to the Lake County um, Commission and apply for a conditional use permit and hired actually an environmental consulting group to go out and um, identify the best alignment for the trail. In the spring of 2021, Dirt Candy Design was contracted and began to close the Gooseberry Gap. Their specialty in trail design and construction highlights the natural features of the land to complement the terrain and ultimately provide an experience hikers appreciate. The Gooseberry Gap in the Superior Hiking Trail has been a hole in the trail for at least six years now. So the fact that it's gonna get closed and the trail will be continuous from the beginning to the end is a really exciting thing. The Gooseberry Gap is a prime example of just one of many trail protection issues that we have along the 300 mile corridor. We are investing time, money, and resources to better understand how we can protect the trail into perpetuity so that we can be better stewards of these, these lands and build better relationships long term. We as the association are making the investment, but we're asking too that our users invest by following Leave No Trace principles and being great stewards of the trail. Back to the screen. Okay. One, two, three.